Hello. Welcome back to JMZ Productions. We wanted to thank you for your undying support. Recently, we gained 100 subscribers, and we couldn't be more proud. Thank you. Thank you. We just wanted to give you an update on what's to come in the future, uh, future videos, future ideas, and we wanted to get your feedback as well. If we make it to 1,000 subscribers in the next two months, we won't release our crypto scam. Darn it. I was planning J &Z on that. Coin will never happen with your support. <laughs> <laughs> But we just wanted to give an update on what's to come in the future. For instance, I'm writing three scripts currently for more Zetheroni videos. Um, me and Jace also are planning on doing gameplay now together. Sort of like a James and Mike Monday sort of deal. Very nicely edited videos, um, but sort of like in a podcast format. Yes. And I am also working on a couple of projects myself. Some about games and some about hardware. Stuff that I'm interested in and... Maybe a little different from Zeth's, but that's why it's the J and Z podcast. We're both a little different, and we both kind of have our own interests, so you'll find both of that here on the channel. But in that case, we're just very grateful. Thank you for the 100 subscribers. We couldn't even imagine getting this far. I mean, the most I thought we would get is maybe 20 in five years, but, I mean, it's blown me away. Some of these videos have gotten more views than we ever kind of thought. We, I really wasn't into it too much for like the views and stuff that came along with it. But even if it doesn't seem like too much or whatever, I really, truly didn't expect, you know, I'm like, who would want to want to listen to me? I don't know what the heck I'm talking about <laughs> half the time, let alone want to listen to me. Come on. But clearly, I'm glad that we're able to make some stuff that you guys enjoy. Yeah. And we hope to do it more in the future. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I think we got enough. Mm -hmm. I think we got enough footage there. We can kind of mix and match it, make a sweet apology there. Wait, why are we making? No, not an apology. We didn't do anything wrong yet. <laughs> I'm so used to saying YouTuber apologies. I've made a severe and continuous <laughs> lapse in judgment. <laughs> With that being said, multiverses. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, yes but without further ado this is the multiverses episode of the podcast we're going to kind of give you our thoughts on it and then talk about some characters that we feel the game absolutely needs it's not even a debate at this point mm -hmm. and with warner brothers wide selection of ips under their name they have no excuse not to add them in yeah it really surprised me because warner brothers is one of those people that I feel can be a competitor to Smash Brothers because of their library of characters. When it comes to Smash Brothers, it's the culmination of video game characters as a whole. But when it comes to something that rivals that category of characters, it's Warner Brothers and Disney that I feel comes the closest to that. And so I'm really glad that this happened. Yeah, me too. I think that, <clears throat> I don't think that personally, uh, Multiverses is kind of on track to beat out Smash Bros if it keeps going at the rate it's going for a while. But I also kind of have a feeling that a lot of people that have already uh, that are already playing it have played it. I feel like it might be starting to taper out. But I think one thing I appreciate the game is in Smash Bros, you have so many choices, it's overwhelming, and so many different characters and movesets. There's what, 15 characters in this one? And they're and it's, the gameplay is slower. So I feel like I have an easier time having fun in this one than I do in Smash Bros. Because of how it's just a little more beginner friendly. And I'm no good at fighting games. So I've at least been able to enjoy this one and just stick to a couple of characters. Because there's not that many to choose from. You can't really blame you for doing that. Mm. Um, that being said, the positives of this game. Um, we'll get into the negatives later. Um, but the positives is that it's free. It's a completely free game. All the characters are completely unlockable through gameplay. The only thing that you would want to pay for or you could pay for is the battle pass system or the skins and weird smash out animations. Um, but that yeah, is it. Can, it is a you completely can pay to unlock the characters. But can you? you can also get them by playing the game relatively easily. 
it takes a bit to save up, but you can get whatever character you want. It's not oh. like V Bucks or something where you have to wait five seasons or something and then you can finally get it. You can unlock the characters pretty quick. Okay. But yeah. Yeah. Um, another positive is that the online works relatively well. Um, once in a while, you do get lag spikes uh, with the matches, but for me, it has happened very rare. For others, it might ha more, happen more frequently, but for me, it has happened maybe two matches, three matches. I find a common issue is I'll get hit and then use maybe a couple uh, dodges, but then it like stun locks me and I just can't do anything about it. It's not mm. like, you know, I'm like falling. It kind of like glitches and you can watch it glitch all the way off the map. I've had that a few times, but hopefully they figure out that patch. Yeah. Um, a negative that I have to take away from it is the roster of characters. I feel that while it is a good mix of characters, it is a very weird roster. Um, one person that I thought had a good way of putting it was it's like a random group of toys you had when you were a kid that they just kind of mashed together. It's not like a best of series in my opinion. It's more like a weird culmination of what Warner Brothers is because while you have DC characters like you know you have your Batman, your Wonder Woman, your Superman, you got Harley Quinn ran randomly in there before the Joker or you have both Adventure Time characters but then you only have <clears throat> Velma and Shaggy instead of Scooby Doo, you know what I mean? Yeah, or you I have LeBron James from Space Jam which I mean seriously like <laughs> I mean, it's kind of cool, but at the same time, I mean, you'd rather have someone else probably in that roster. Yeah, it's kind of a weird mix at the moment. Though, I've never really felt offended by it. Yeah. I'm not the offended one by thing... it either, but it's just a weird mix. The only complaint I truly have is I feel like the hitboxes and landing attacks isn't perfect yet. I feel like... Yeah. There's always something weird going on. Like, I can never reliably, like, hit somebody, even when I probably should, or sometimes it's vice versa. And, of course, I need to balance certain characters, but that's true with any given fighting game. Yeah. <clears throat> and I think it's more so that, because you like to play 1v1s. This game is not for 1v1s. It's a mode. But I this game, at its that. core and its bones of the structure of the game... It's a 2v2 matches at the most. It, it's most fun when you grab a friend or friends and you're duking it out together. That's what this game is meant to be played as. Yeah, I've realized that because if you ever play 1v1s, you know, to an extensive amount of time and try out different characters, like half of them are support types. You can't even mm -hmm. use some of their moves because they're just, they, you can't use them. There's nothing to use them on. So, yeah. But that said... Because it's a little less try-hard than your average Smash game, I'm curious, what draws you to this game that games like Nickelodeon All-Stars or Brawlhalla or all these other ones, what do you think makes this game different? Because on paper, it's not all that different from the Nickelodeon game. Uh, Brawlhalla is a little try hard you know, but... Well, Nickelodeon, I mean, I have it, but... It still feels cheap, even though it was a $50 game. Mm. Um, it feels very cheap in comparison to Multiverse. Multiverse feels like on par with a Smash Brothers like quality. I'm not saying there's anywhere near the package, but as in terms of how it feels, it just feels like a very quality like made experience. Hmm. I don't think it lives up to the movements and attacks inconsistency of smash brothers mm -hmm. but i see what you're saying it definitely doesn't feel like some cheap garbo game you would have gotten the bargain bin yeah you know. and i mean i'm not saying that either i mean i i think it's a lot more slower than super smash brothers ultimate and i think that a lot of the hitboxes i agree with you that it just kind of feels floaty but at yeah. the same time if the game's fun it's free and there's going to be support for it coming They've already confirmed it, so, you know, 
I mean, that's all positive right there. And it works. My favorite... Um, I have a love-hate relationship with one aspect of the game, and it's like the outer border. Mm -hmm. It's really funny because, you know, in Smash Bros., you get a second to come back from it. In, in this game, if you go out of it, like, you're done. So they have mm. characters like S Superman or, like, Iron Giant, where if you get too close to the edge of the screen, you literally can just fly and intercept, and then at that point, you're as good as dead. And you can do that anytime huh. they're over by the screen. It is the funniest thing in the world. It's kind of dumb when it comes to recovery sometimes, but I like being able to do that. It's the funniest thing ever when you're one of those characters and there's nothing they can do about it. I haven't run into that issue, but I mean, hmm. You've never gotten grabbed by a Superman while you only have like 2% damage and just gotten... <laughs> no. Just warped out. I've, I've had that happen a couple times and I can't even be mad at him. It's actually really funny. Huh. Yeah, no, I've never done that. Oh, man. But, um, so, I thought it'd be fun to take a few characters, five each of us, so that's ten mm -hmm. in total, uh, just some characters that we personally would like to see in the game. Now, we are taking specifically from Warner Brothers' owned IPs and characters. We know that they have announced that they'd be open to guest fighters, but for now we're going to stick to what they've owned, whether it be movies, TV shows, or video games. Um, and I thought it would be fun to maybe start out with guaranteed characters and then get to our more outlandish thoughts okay One second. so jace why don't you start Alrighty, let's see here the person that's probably i can't see him not including them and i'm probably going to play as when they do it's gotta be gumball or darwin from the amazing world of gumball i love okay. that show i would love to play as gumball he has so many fun like references and things that he does he'd be a totally fun character to play as i forgot they own that show that's a good show yeah it's a great show hmm. yeah that's, that's a good character pick uh would you see them as being like a skin of each other like they had gumball but then darwin's like the skin or like a tom and see, jerry -like they, i character? would under normal circumstances but they haven't seemed to do that you know they haven't had any like alternate characters they typically only had skins for the character so i'm i'd love to see them both i'd love to see them as a team or something but changes are i'll take gumball uh, you know hmm. all right what were you thinking what's your uh, uh right, number, so my number five pick. pick my number five pick is johnny bravo oh, i believe wonderful. that he would be guaranteed i think he's guaranteed he's one of those characters that's a little bit of a niche pick like iron giant where maybe no one knows him as much but i feel like he has enough uh weight in cartoon network where he could easily be in there i see what you're saying i don't know how his show would i don't know if his show could come out today in today's climate so that's no a little but bit i mean too, it's uh, still a good show it is it is it just it, yeah. but i could totally see them doing that um yeah i'm gonna uh, johnny bravo my is my number two. five What's your number four? My number four... Eh, I'll go with this one. They own Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, the whole IP. I would love really? Willy Wonka to be in this game. Willy, <laughs> Willy Wonka? <laughs> you have no idea. Oh, shoot. You know what? That actually makes sense because um, they're making a prequel. Yeah. So they could act... Okay. That I could see happening, actually. I don't know what his moveset would be, but I'm sure they could come up with something. Throws Oompa Loompas or whatnot? Oh, yeah. I like a Princess I Peach like throws out a toad? I wish they would include <laughs> like final smashes in this game. They could do so much cool stuff with them. Maybe that they would will. be sweet. Maybe. That's, that's, that's the character I want, is the final smash from Smash Brothers to make an appearance in every single character's moveset okay but that won't happen so that's a, that's your freebie but I Willy think that's Wonka the next is step. a weird one but I I can kind of see that happening all right my next one is uh there are two it's two of them I I couldn't really uh it's 
it's two of them because I couldn't really pick. Uh, but they're a, they're a group of characters, kind of like Tom and Jerry. Mm. But it is either the Powerpuff Girls as a three set team, or Ed, Ed, and Eddie. I was about to say one of those. That was going to be my other one. Now I have to put in my replacement one. Oh, man. I would love either. I I take both. They're both perfect for it. Yeah, I think that those guys are guaranteed. Not maybe as much as Johnny Bravo, but I think that the Powerpuff Girls as a team is guaranteed. Or mm-hmm. Ed, Ed, and Eddie, but I would love to I see think, those two. I think the Powerpuff Girls are making it in before Johnny Bravo. Mm, I don't know. We'll see. Who doesn't love the Powerpuff Girls? And they're like made to fight. Like, come on. That's true. That's true. But I would love to see them as like a three team, like Tom and Jerry, but just have them be all three of them together. <clears throat> all right. What's your number three? My number three. Um,. You know, you wouldn't know it, considering that this show typically only airs on Nick at Night, but I would kill to have Uncle Jesse from Full House in the, in the <laughs> multiverses <laughs> roster. Every time he'd like, you know, like do like a smash, like just spike him out of the arena, he could be like, have mercy, or just say something <laughs> stupid like that. That'd be awesome. I would totally mean Uncle Jesse if they threw him in multiverses. Okay, that's what I didn't see coming, but that's a good one. That's a good one. That Okay, we're starting to get into t- your weird territory, that's for sure. Uh, Alright, my number three pick is a dual team. It is Rigby and Mordecai from regular show. Oh, of course. That's so... That's gotta be in. I would kill to see those guys. <clears throat> my little brother got me into that show, and my father into that show, so... It's got to be in the game. I can't see them being a duo, though. Like, it's not like Tom and Jerry where they don't really have personality. I could totally see them picking one or the other to put in the game, though, for sure. Yeah. That's the thing, though. Like, I could see it as a duo team like Tom and Jerry. But I guess I have to agree with you that I I couldn't. If you're being realistic about it. Right. Yeah. And who knows? What's your number Um, two? See, I wouldn't really call it my number two. And now that I've heard yours, I really don't want to say it. Because it's really (laughs) stupid. (laughs) Come on. So, uh, my number two pick is the orca from the movie Free Willy. (laughs) I feel that in the heart-pounding scene in Free Willy 3... When there's the oil spill in the ocean and it all floated to the top and then caught on fire. I feel he could have like a flaming water oil (laughs) splash attack. Um, That's the only move I got because he is literally just a whale. Um, I'm not so sure (laughs) how they could implement the rest. But... um, that's not my job. <laughs> I am just here for suggestions. <clears throat> <laughs> just but no I way. feel it would be a shame if they didn't fully utilize their IPs. I have never seen Free Willy. So. It's horrendously boring. It, <laughs> I watched it so much as a kid. It is bad. It is like... Oh, man. I, I kind of don't like my other picks because I'm a little more realistic than you. I have one more pick, but I'll let you go to do your second one. All I'd, right. I'd love to hear it. It's obvious. My... Godzilla. They, they have own. To God... add... I thought I knew they own King Kong. They own Godzilla. Um, when it comes to King Kong rights, I don't know if they could because it's in that weird limbo. I don't know if they do because <clears throat> Universal owns a little bit of that, but so does Warner Brothers. So I. I don't recall, I don't... but I just I kept away from that just to be safe. But they own the 2014 Godzilla. Okay, okay, that'd be cool. So like the American one where he fights the in the King of the Monsters and with Kong. So I could picture them adding 2014 Godzilla because they're doing a new TV show with uh, the Russells, and they could do the new movie that's coming out next year. So 
he seems like a character that's right around the corner. I could totally see him doing it because even if they had to bring him in as a guest character with a different version, I literally have a King Ghidorah skin in Fall Guys, so I don't think it should be too much of an issue to bring him over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He seem he seems like a good character, and even if it's not like the 2014 one, Hanna Barbara, the guys who did Scooby Doo and stuff, they had their own Godzilla cartoon. It was terrible. Really? He shot lasers out of his eyes, but uh, they could add that, and I would be happy. I just I want Godzilla in this game. He needs to be in a fighting game. I would kill for that. All right, Jace, what's your number one pick? Drum roll. All right, I would love to see. Uh, all right, one second. What's, what's his name? Danny Ocean from Ocean's Eleven. I want George Clooney in my multiverses. If they can bring in LeBron, Wait. they can. <laughs> Ocean's Eleven is one of my favorite movies of all time. Wait, Ocean's Eleven is one of your favorite of all time? Yes, I think it's fun. Really? Yeah, it's a good movie. Okay, that's kind of They break into the casino. They have all these moves they could use. He could, like... Card attack. I don't know. He could, like... They could make it, like, a thing where he could, like, switch into the different characters. Like the, like the trapeze guy. Or the... Hmm. I mean, they're all kind of the same peer person, but they just do different things. So, I think they could fill out a move set. I just really like Ocean's Eleven. So, okay, I could, I could see that as in terms of a move set, as in terms of being realistic. He's not making I don't know it in about there, that I know. one. He's not making it, but I'd love to see it. Huh. And finally, what you got, Seth? What's your number one pick? All right, this is a character that I would kill for even more than Godzilla or Speed Racer or any other property that Warner Brothers owns. I want to see Sheldon Cooper in there. Doggone it, Zeth. <laughs> Way to end it on a low note. My goodness. What? Sheldon Cooper? Who's out Big here Bang watching Theory. Big Bang Theory? Maybe my grandmother. One of the biggest television shows that ever came out? One of the least funny television shows ever made? No, it's one of the funniest. Doggone it, Zeth. I, I was under the pretense that you actually had taste this entire time. I don't know how the future of this channel will continue from here on out, but it's not looking good. <laughs> I think we're oh, on, come we on. immediately went from five feet of ice to this much. You are on thin <laughs> ice, buddy. You better Shows not say the optional... Shows are like 100 optional... subscribers. Just goes blink down to zero. Yeah, back down to zero. I can't even blame them. Next thing you're going to be talking about the young Sheldon skin. Oh my goodness. Come on. Oh, man. Well, I mean, like, Warner Brothers, they own a lot of characters. But it, you start to run out of animated characters, and there's only so many DC characters that would be fun to add, you know what mm. I mean? Because then half the roster would be DC or animated characters. If you get someone in there that's kind of a wild card, like LeBron James or Arya Stark from Game of Thrones, I mean, have Sheldon Cooper in there. Chances are they're going to be putting in more of their uh, Cartoon Network stuff. You know, they have so many more stuff. And then they're kind of, they went, you know, from Hanna-Barbera, you know, the Tom and Jerry Looney Tunes stuff. Oh, we never said Fred Flintstone. All right, I've taken out Free Willy. I want Fred Flintstone. Fred Flintstone. I want them to add Daffy Duck, too. He's so underrated in uh, Looney Tunes, I feel like. And they I, just, I, 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 want, I want them to add Daffy. I was never a big Looney Tunes guy. Really? But I did like somewhat early um, Cartoon Network. I love Kids Next Door. I love um, Dexter's Lab. All that good stuff. I, I want to see Next those in make a. Oh, that'd be that. sweet. I heard they were doing a reboot. Same thing with uh, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. They, they could add Blue. That'd be great. I, I heard they're Blue. doing a reboot of that, so maybe they'll... Maybe they'll add some representation there. Who knows? All I'm saying is I don't want a cruddy reboot. I, I'd be happy with him in my free fighting game. That's all I ask. No one wants the reboot. 
Oh, man. But they do want to kick butt as Dexter from Dexter's Lab. That's what they want. That's what the people want. I'm the people. You're the people? You mm -hmm. asked for free Willy in this game. Okay, okay. Well, if you have such There's a better There's so many idea, other and, characters like Beetlejuice, for instance. Come on! <sighs> I'm not a theater nerd. Come on. You asked for free Willy. <laughs> And you it's don't even like the movies. It's so boring, but <laughs> I want to see him in a fun light. It'd be crazy, though, right? No one would see it coming. That would be a weird... I, what else are they going to do with riot. the property, huh? Sell it? No one wants it. They're going to make a new movie? No one would watch it. But I guarantee you, if they put Free Willy in multiverses, everybody would talk about it. It's marketing genius. I'm literally writing their paychecks. Come on. Like, come on. 